What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics and Pop Culture. I got an awesome video today, guys, showing how you can display your key combo books or any combo books that you feel like you want to display, put up on a wall that you don't want sitting in a box just collecting dust. So guys, today I'm talking about BCW combo book showcases. So I got a few options here. I already have a couple hanging on my wall that you guys can see, but I'm going to go into it and I'm going to tell you why these things are amazing for a multitude of reasons. Um, right here though, we have two uh, sizes, regular slash silver with the current book, but I'm also going to be talking about uh, two different types that BCW offers, not just sizes, but types. And for those that are interested, I'm leaving a link whoop, below in the description to where you can uh, go purchase these straight off the BCW website. Extremely, extremely affordable, guys. I'll tell you guys the price in a moment here, but let me get um, a couple current ones, and I'm going to talk to you guys about this. Look, this is really a situation to where, you know, you want to display your comic books, and you might not necessarily want to go the route of say like cgc or cbcs and getting your book slab that's extremely costly you know it's it's anywhere from you know 18 to 35 dollars plus shipping and fees and all that just to get a book slab right um obviously you're getting it graded and, and, and certified as well but we know that a lot of people like to show off their slab books you know on their walls or or, or what or for what case that may be but um a lot of people just like to show their books off you know they'll look for frames they'll do custom matting and and so forth but guys these options are extremely uh awesome because not only do they look good and not only only are they affordable but they protect against uv uh lighting now i brought the uh two actually i brought the same ones because there's a uv and a non-uv okay um I absolutely recommend the UV, UV, but let me show you these off. This one right here is your standard current comic book showcase, okay? This runs $8.49. That's it, $8.49. Guys, you can't even find like an 8x10. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could. <laughs> but, you know, a solid 8x10 photo frame is going to be more than that. I mean, you could probably go to Walmart, get a cheap one for, for you know, four or five bucks. But eight forty nine. But get this, guys. The UV protection ones, and it says right there, UV protection. Uh, I believe they're ten ninety nine. So they're only a couple dollars more, and it's extremely worth it, in my opinion, to go with that UV uh, protection casing. Because uh, if you guys know me, I'm very hesitant to display books uh, on walls or outside of the boxes because of UV rays. Now, of course. Um, if you have a room that has windows, you're going to want to uh, use curtains, preferably blackout curtains to keep the uh, uh, daylight out. Uh, but, you know, your standard bulbs give off uh, a certain amount of UV lighting. Uh, not as much, but still to have the UV protection and they protect against up to 97% of UV rays that are coming through. So uh, that's the best option in my opinion. Um, now... As you guys can see, I have a couple on the wall. Uh, this is your current, and this is your silver. I'm going to show you guys how they work in terms of taking them out of the box and getting the book in and putting it on display, okay? So we're going to go ahead and grab uh, one of the current UV showcases. And they are really, really easy to use. You just pull it out. They're protected in a... Uh, little bag here and you just pull it right out of the bag and it's two pieces okay you get uh the plastic cover the plastic backing this case is 100 percent acid free 100 percent. so you don't have to worry about you know putting uh getting a book and putting it in a backing board in in a bag or a mylar bag and then into a frame or in this case into the showcase uh you could put the the book in there um completely um outside of any other protection and it will be fully protected um also the uh setting see this actually if you guys saw that this book it just pop you grab this and you just pop it off and it comes right off like that okay uh now the engraved setting in or, or 
where, where the book sets is shaped specifically for your uh, modern slash current books, right? And I'm gonna show you how this fits in there. You guys wanna make sure you see where the little uh, nail hanger is. Okay, so that's the top where the front piece pops off is the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Star Wars book right here and I'm gonna set it right inside the crevices of the showcase and it fits perfectly in there. Look at that, all right? And then all you do, take your top piece, set it right back on and just with one little pop, pop, and there it is, boom. Ooh, get that glare out of there, there it is guys, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, crystal clear. So now we can take this, and if you see the wall, grab that off the nail. Really easy to just find the uh, the hanger, slide it right in on a little standard. Uh, you know, you use a, a framing nail or hanging nail, and there it is. Voila, little. A little bit of a glare there for you guys. I'm sorry, but you guys can kind of get the idea um, of how that works. So again, just really, really easy to use, easy to set up, and extremely affordable. Now, like I said, I wouldn't person. And this is this is my personal opinion. I would not put any book on a wall in a standard frame. I I don't even display my. Uh, my graded books. I do not display any of my CGC books um, on any type of wall or any. Sometimes I'll bring them out. I'll bring one out and uh, put it on my little A-frame just to show off maybe in the back of some of my videos. But other than that, they're in uh, my boxes. And uh, ironically, most of them are in my uh, uh, BCW uh, plastic container box for graded books. I don't display them. And the reason is because of UV lighting. But when you have something like this, it is made specifically for comma books. It's made to be 100% acid free. It's made to protect your books against UV rays. I feel extremely uh, comfortable and confident with them being on the wall, not being exposed to any damage. And I do have one window in this room. I have a dark curtain over it. And then I just have my, my lighting. So I have no problem with uh, keeping these up. Uh, there's no light glaring right on them. Uh, they look extremely awesome and like I said crystal clear if you compare and I know it's probably hard to see on video but if you compare these uh displayed with these posters in your standard frames this is glass this is much clearer than uh the, the standard glass and I'm telling you that with it with my naked eye um so I can look at it right now and also the way the light shines off the glass it's a little more intense than coming off the plastic. So they look really great, guys. Again, this is, to me, this is the most practical way to uh, dis display your books. Because like I said, if you're gonna display your books in standard frames or even your graded slabs, if you're displaying them, for those that watch my channel, you know me, I do not, uh, I don't condone it. I, I always, people always ask me in the comments, hey, what do you think about uh, displaying your slab books? And I'm like, ugh. You know, because there's that 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 protection uh, is it, there's no 97% UV protection. So, and also, guys, you could keep these in these frames just for protection. Uh, I'm not sure they're a little wider than what would fit in your um, graded book uh, box. I'm not sure if they would fit in a magazine box, but still, even if you're not displaying them on a wall, they are well protected, and that's a good thing. So, guys. Again, to wrap it up, I think these are a very, very uh, lucrative option. And again, if you go to the link below, you can find these on BCW's website. $849 for the non-UV, but I highly recommend spending that couple dollars more for the $1099 uh, UV protected showcase cases. Um, and again, I think if you buy if you buy five you get a, a price drop. And then if you buy 10, there's an even larger price drop. So, and then I believe if uh, if you spend, and don't quote me on this, I think it's if you spend $75, I 
and up, um, you get free shipping. But I know at a certain dollar amount, BCW will offer you free shipping as well. So, guys, I'm telling you, if you want to display your books, this is the way to go. Um, I've seen a lot of other different uh, options. Um, I've seen uh, some of these uh, the, these plastic casings that I've seen a lot of YouTubers use that I found on eBay. Um, they're not they're about the, the same price, but there's no real protection like these give you. Um, I highly recommend these. Check out the link below, guys. If you have any questions, any other questions for me, uh, leave some uh, comments below. And just to give you guys one last look. Beautiful. Get an idea of uh, what some modern books look like. I'll give you an idea of what the Silver Age looks like. And again, uh, just similar to Mylar's. You know, when you put a book in, in a Mylar bag, it gives it that crisp feel. Sometimes it, you know, if you have a book that's might be a lower grade and you once you put it in the Mylar, it makes it pop even more than it would outside of the bag. Similar here, you know, because this is, this is a lower mid-grade book. But when you're looking at it in this casing, it just pops. It is just beautiful. Obviously, one of my favorite covers of all time. First John Romita work on Spider-Man. And it's just beautiful. So, bam. All right, guys. As I said, if you have any other questions, let me know. Check that link to BCW below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have used these. If you are using these, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any opinion on them. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Be safe, be well, and until next time.